Royal. This all ties back to a lawsuit filed back in 2014, alleging that a teacher here at the district inappropriately touched a fourth, fourth grade girl. According to court documents, a lawsuit alleges a former teacher invited female students to his home and touched them inappropriately. That lawsuit against that former teacher in the district itself was settled last month for $3.2 million. But there's one catch. The New Mexico Public Schools Insurance Agency will cover the first $750,000, but this letter sent to the district says that selective insurance won't cover the rest. They say that's because the district knew that this case could be a problem before they opened their policy and didn't tell selective ahead of time. So now, who foots the bill? A mediator will meet with both insurance groups to decide who will pay. The New Mexico Public Schools Insurance Authority pays premiums for districts around the state, but the district itself also has a private insurer, Selective Insurance. If the mediator decides it's up to the insurance authority to pay, then it will likely become the responsibility of the district to pay the rest of the settlement. We reached out to the district on how it would pay, but didn't receive an immediate response. We spoke to PED and they said they're monitoring what's happening in Española. Royal Doug, that may not be the end of the financial troubles for the district. A second lawsuit was filed by parents of another student against the district and against that same teacher, again alleging sexual abuse. Reporting live here in Española, David Carl, KOAT Action 7 News.